Hey guys, welcome to another video and today is actually one of my first days off on the weekday, it's Wednesday today, uh, 19th of July and I mean look at that weather outside, bloody fantastic. But anyway yeah, I've got a couple of days off from work, I'm going to uh, get some shit done and I've actually got a uh, Amazon parcel to collect from Robinson's in Blackpool so I'm going to take you for a little walk you're going, and you're going to be with me for the next couple of days anyway so yeah, let's get some shit done yeah we're going to take a walk over here to the Amazon lacquer and uh, pick up my parcel Right, that's my parcel collected, and now uh, I'm actually going to pay a quick visit to my mum's because I've got a little job for, to do for her. And then I'm going to get rid of this uh, map on my head. And then I'm going to pay a visit to a uh, hotel site I'm promenade. See, I'll hook you up in my car, take you for a run.
just like that, I'm at my mum, so uh, yeah, I'm going to get this uh, little job done that I need to do, and then go and get my hair cut done. And I've got all the stuff to do after, so hope you enjoyed the ride. Well, guys, that's that job done, and now I'm off to go and get this uh, mop taken off my head because I feel like it's due, and I just want to start feeling well. Still feeling a bit groggy, but I'm feeling better. But also, I want to feel better in myself. And this British weather, I don't know what it's playing at. It's like the cloud over now. Just hope it does not rain. Anyway, I'll set you up and we'll go for the drive to my. Uh, Hairdresser, catch you back. Just like that, a after picture of uh, my haircut. Right, now it's time to uh, get home, get a shower, get myself tidied up, and then go for a walk along the prom to go and look at a hotel that they've recently demolished. But yet yeah, they're going to rebuild on the same site. So, without further ado, let's carry on throughout the day. Alright, we're outside and as you can see I've had to change clothes because I don't like wearing the same clothes after a haircut because of all them little short hairs that you get. So it's if you like the little sharp pincers that always dig into my back after a haircut. But anyway, yeah I hope everyone's feeling alright, I hope everyone's okay and doing well. Uh, I'm nearly hit my goal of 4,000 subscribers so if you're not subscribed feel free to smash that like button hit subscribe it is free of charge you, you don't have to pay 
single penny to subscribe so if you do subscribe it's much appreciated uh, and hit that bell for notifications of when new videos get posted up uh, again if you do like these videos then feel free to leave a comment down below and hopefully I can smash my, t my target for the year of which I want to try and get up to about 5,000 subscribers before 2024 if I can hit that that would be a milestone for me I know it's only small baby steps at a time but I'm growing a channel which I've never really spent much time on I've not really put the time and effort into it which I regret I'm hoping that I can grow this channel into something that I want it to be yeah so anyway we're just uh, walking past Watsonville Park at the moment fairly quiet because the kids are at school uh, some schools do finish today though so it'll start to pick up after today I do have a bit of a plan tomorrow. I'm uh, going to be going to Bury for the day and uh, hopefully spend a bit of time around Manchester area. So we'll see how that goes. And of course I'm going to film it. <laughs> because I cannot keep my finger away from this red button. But since I first started compared to now, I feel like my confidence is growing. Which I'm happy about. I'm getting myself out a lot more, getting exercise. And the I mean, look at that sun behind me. It is gorgeous weather compared to what we've had the past couple of days really is. Yeah, so we're heading up towards uh, Blackpool Plush Beach at the moment. Currently there are school trips going on. So some of the roads are closed because of like, the coaches and stuff and school trips going on. So we're going to uh, Check out the memories on foot. Hopefully, when we uh, get across this road in one piece. And just like that, I'm good to go. But I'll tell you something I feel warm with this jacket. Kind of glad I wore it, but at the same time. At the same time I'm thinking to myself, why the hell did I bother wearing it? So it's just an extra layer that I feel like I could have done with. So it has been a bit... Uh, weather's not exactly been brilliant the past couple of days. So I didn't really trust it. Yeah, we're going to walk up Watson Road now, which leads up towards Plodge Beach. And of course it is Wednesday, so it's a bin day for this area. So I used to live up this road. Back when I was younger. Got some memories, good and bad.
Yeah, we're going to continue up here. There's the uh, South Shore train track which runs to Pods Reach and South Shore Station. The nearest station to here would be the Pods Reaches one. Yeah, just across the road from us, you'll probably see all the uh, coaches and buses. That's to do with the uh, school trips, that's going on. Well that's only a selected few buses and coaches. I know some others do happen to use Pudge Reach's car park. But I know they do use under this tunnel for parking up the coaches. As you can see, there are actually quite a few. The stretch from the top all the way down here. So that was Bond Street, that side of that. And we're heading up towards the prom. how many years they've actually got left I mean I'm not sure how many more days they've actually got left of doing school trips to Pleasure Beach but it's not just Pleasure Beach they do go to other theme parks as well like I think once in Blackpool might go to Alton Towers for the day I know when I went on the school trip, I actually went to Alton Towers. Yeah, they've got it close. They've got it close to here by looks of it. And then general public can still use the uh, public car park. <laughs> My lord, your lord, look at this weather. Absolutely fantastic. There's the new Fusion Ride. Just doing its circuit. 
I look for it, they've come on the right day. Thanks to Sydney anyway for that. But anyway, we're going to cross here. And what we're going to do, we're going to walk up towards uh, Central. We're going to try and take a look at the uh, St Chad's Hotel, which, like I said, they've knocked it down. And they're actually going to rebuild a new a new hotel on that land. Yeah, it's really quite a day to the it being a weekday, a lot of people in work. So I'm actually, I'm actually glad I've actually booked a weekday off because it feels nice to explore your hometown without the tourists about. It's nice to, it's nice to have the tourists about for that buzz, but like a weekend, since I will get weekends off and bank holidays, it feels like I don't really get, even though I'm coming from, I don't really get us locals don't really get the chance to enjoy our hometown when it's busy. We all get to enjoy it when it's quiet. But then when it's quiet, they tend to have things down for maintenance or... Yeah, they'll have things down for maintenance so they might just close the shop because uh, they don't see it worthy of opening during that period of time. So, in a way I suppose if we do lose out a bit and if we don't lose out, it's a bit of both worlds. So I do, for one, I do enjoy my hometown sometimes because there's a lot to do. Like you can go for a walk and do what I do, just go out, film in, and I mean, I've got all this lot to myself, it's not as busy, so if you do come to Blackpool, if you can, you're best off coming during a weekday, when it's quieter. Weekends are obviously going to be busier. And if you can get to Blackpool during a weekday, then you'll probably enjoy it more. But some opening times, like Pleasure Beach, for example, that might only open like 11 till 5. So you're coming further afield, it may not be worth it. Let's see if you're stopping over for a couple of days. That's just the way I look at it anyway. Like if you was coming to Blackpool when it's not school holidays, you might be best off coming during the week when kids are at school and book a hotel down here, well, in Blackpool for like a few days or a week or something. I don't know how long you want to stop for. Then you can enjoy what we have to offer. I mean, there is a, just a pleasure beach, there's other things to do as well, which I'll show you. I mean, yeah, like I said before, we've got other stuff to offer. So we've got Sandcastle, which is here, as well as the casino next door. Then further up, we've got Velvet Coaster, which is just across from South Peter. got 
horse and cart, which I forgot to uh, mention. We do have South Pay, which is there. Probably hear music in the background, I'm not sure. Just heading towards the sea now and. In the times it does look quite nice out there. Bit windy though. It's got like a nice blue tint to it as you go out, but then it's a bit brownish as you come in. Uh, see these seagulls here. Just chilling. I know I've upset them. Yeah, there's the uh, sea. Looks a bit foamy. A bit brown and all. Certainly wouldn't have eyes going in there. Here we have it, Viking Hotel, talk over the coast. They do some uh, good shows. Anyway, we're going to carry on up here. Personally, quite enjoy. Especially day out today. Not had a decent day like this for quite some time. Here we've got plenty of these in block, we've got fish and chips in play. And we've got a bit of empty land here which has been here for quite some time. Not too sure what they're actually doing to it. Bit of shame. Nice to see if they can do something to it. I've got the cod mother. It's 
sun meets the sight on Boppa Promenade. If it was open now, it would be absolutely hammered. Especially during any nice weather we get in Blackpool. At the moment, it's just dumpy ground for people who wish. If there's any locations you'd like me to go see specifically, feel free to get in touch. Feel free to leave a comment down below. And I'll see what I can do. Because, uh, as I said, I'm enjoying this getting out and about scenario. And if there's a video to be made, I'll do it. And just look at these hotels around here. I mean, some are a bit run down, some are. This one on the corner looks quite nice. South Beach Hotel. We're coming up to the former St Chad's Hotel sign, so we'll have a meet round there and we'll see what's going on. Pensions building and see if there's anything gone on over the last couple of days. And doesn't that sound nice? A nice coffee, Starbucks. Here, got the new Lord Hotel just on the right hand side here. Which looks like it's in need of some restoration work, but which I think he is doing. Next door to we've got Sky Ocean's Hotel. But I believe this is the uh, former St Chad's Hotel, which has been flattened. But they're actually going to rebuild a brand new hotel. Yeah, there's some uh, pictures of what it's going to look like anyway. have a look in the building yard. Well, there isn't much going on at the moment anyway. So they've knocked it down but there isn't any work going on just yet. Okay. But you never know, it might be 
beyond Hence it's been knocked down I'd like to think they've got applying permission in place already I just don't know what they're doing to it yet. But we're working some of the way It's been done by civil and rem remediation or something I'm sure how you pronounce it Yeah, we're across the road now, and we've got Central Pier just in the uh, distance, which we are heading towards. I'm not sure what this is doing. It's moving some sand from somewhere. Not too sure why or what for. But yeah, they're moving sand for something. So it's sand that's like built up in the corner of the high rocks. So they're keeping all the uh, steps clear for pedestrians. This uh, video might actually be one of the longest videos I've actually ever done, or one of the longest I've done for quite some time. But once it's like this, nice and quiet, I just want to be out, see what Bobble's got to offer. This random tent here looks like it's been blown away. And I also want to use it for shots or something like that. I think. I'm not sure actually. But yeah, I think someone was inside it. Possibly hiding. Horse and car. Oh, and we've got another tent just over here. That was not blown away anyway. Not yet. Not too sure what they're doing. Yeah, anyway, we'll come out towards Central Pier and we'll have a mute round there before moving on to the next location. 
road is coming towards Central Pier now. And just look how nice that is. The weather. And there you got the wheel spinning. I would have liked to go on the wheel in this wind. Put your seals about. Like in whatever this feet there's always a seal. And then we've got the arcade itself which is located at the front of the pier. I'm just opposite the Fun Palace at the moment, which leads up towards Mandarin Two Sides, of which I will do a video in Mandarin Two Sides one day, get some function in there. So that's well worth a visit if you ever come to Blackpool. All the way in London is good as well. Here we're just going past Candyland. Coming on from the front. Just across the road from Happy Days, which is an arcade, and then you got um, a number two stars next door to it. Look at these, that now it's called lollipops. I'm not sure what the I'm not sure what the actual terminology is for it, but I know when it's windy. I lean over, so it seems the wind's actually coming in from the sea. They're leaning in. And of course we've got a little uh, hot dog stand on the pram. We've got a sea line centre here, which also has, which is also home to the uh, Gruffalo Clubhouse. good things about that. I've not actually been in it though. So it's a fairly new attraction. And I mentioned I mentioned it about it being quiet back like that end. Come towards the town centre area, central slash north, and between opposite Tower. Got a bit of 
there. Got quite a lot of footfall around this area. It's actually quite busy, quite a lot of people about. Not as busy as what it would be a weekend, but it's certainly something similar in a lot of tourists. Yeah, we'll have a note to around here. Opposite Coal Island now, which is again this arcade. You got food areas in there where you can go and eat. Child friendly. And yeah. not sure if there's anything going on on that. We're going to go and take a look. Bars in place to stop traffic from getting onto the comedy carpet. So, I'm not sure if there's anything going on or whether they're playing something or if there's any planned events, I'm not entirely sure yet. Going yeah, I'm at that uh, construction site for the Department for Oak and Pensions building and they're actually doing quite a bit of work. There's people on site and they're using the crane for, for some uh, crane work anyway. It'll be interesting to see it once it's all finished. doing quite a bit of work. My god this weather does not do blunt plane justice whatsoever. 